Activating VDefend Security Services with the Security Services Platform, or SSP, is a straightforward process. Just select the service that you want to activate. Click on Activate, run the pre-checks, and check for any warning. Wait for the service to be fully deployed, then proceed with other services, such as malware prevention, and threat detection and response. Once a service is deployed, there are few settings that you can configure. For example, you can change the flow retention policy used by security intelligence and choose the clusters that will send application flows to the platform. Detectors are used by the network traffic analysis feature to detect any suspicious traffic behavior. You can activate, configure, or deactivate any detector. Here, let's activate all of them. Please note that some detectors require a layer 7 DNS rule to be configured in NSX. Once configured, the VDefend security features can be used. If you click on Security Intelligence, you will access the Security Explorer that will show you how your application traffic flows are protected or unprotected. This view can be based on your existing groups or by compute. If your VMs have NSX tags, you can leverage the clustering by tag option to quickly reveal the flows within and between your applications. If an application is unprotected, you can use the policy recommendation engine. Click on Start a new recommendation and choose a name. Select a group that defines your application scope. Click Start Discovery. When the recommendation has been generated, click on it, review the groups and security rules recommended by the engine. Here, Security Intelligence recommends updating an existing security policy by adding a new rule. Click Proceed and Publish to publish the updated security policy in NSX. Network Traffic Analysis can detect suspicious traffic thanks to machine learning mechanisms. Here, NTA has detected that some application flows are not using the expected port. It has also detected that a single VM send flows to many other ones using many destination ports. This VM probably ran a port scanning tool such as Nmap and that behavior has been identified as a suspicious event. The Malware Prevention Service can detect and prevent a malware being transferred over the network. The MPS service can run at a gateway level or can be distributed in hypervisors. In that case, MPS can detect malware even over an encrypted channel thanks to the guest file introspection drivers running in VMware tools. Security threats are sent to the NDR engine for further analysis. Here you can see how they are mapped to the Mitre attack framework. Click on a detection to learn more about the attacker, the attack target, and the detection details. NDR uses different correlation rules to correlate threats into campaigns. Here, four detections have been correlated into a single campaign. Use the triage and investigate diagram to learn more about this campaign. 